Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to apply vitamin C serum on your skin in your daytime skincare regime as well as in your nighttime skincare regime. I'm going to talk about the correct order, the correct sequence of applying skincare products before you apply your vitamin C serum and after you apply your vitamin C serum. So to begin with the daytime skincare regime, the first step is to wash your skin. So you can either use a face wash or you can just use some warm water to wash your face in the morning. And right now my skin is completely clean it's completely bare and i can begin with my skincare now the second step is to use a face mist to bring back all of the hydration and to make your skin feel fresh so i'm using this coconut face mist you want to spray it on your entire face and just wait for about two minutes the third step is where you use a face serum now i'm using this Wow Vitamin C Face Serum. This is an oil-free face serum. This is 20% vitamin C which is a good amount of vitamin C. You don't need any more than 20%. 20% is the maximum that you can use on your skin. Also this is free from harmful toxins like paraben, silicone and mineral oil. So I'm just going to take a little bit of it on my fingers. Just two pumps. And just pat it into my skin very gently. You should always pat your serums and not rub them into your skin. Patting the serum into your skin assures that the serum gets absorbed by your skin really fast. After applying the serum, you want to wait for about 1 minute for the serum to completely seep into your skin. So the serum has been completely absorbed by my skin. My skin does not feel sticky, oily, greasy, anything like that. It's an oil-free serum and it's very lightweight. It's already absorbed by my skin. This Wow Vitamin C Serum contains 20% Vitamin C which is going to help to improve your complexion. It's going to add to the glow on your skin. It's going to help to repair your skin. It's going to help to repair the sun damage on your skin. And Vitamin C basically has a lot of uh, good properties for your skin. It also contains Witch Hazel which is going to help to tone your skin. It's going to help to minimize those pores and to uh, control the excessive oils on your skin. And it contains Hyaluronic Acid which is going to help to reduce the moisture on your skin and prevent your skin from drying so after applying the serum the next step is to use a moisturizer so I'm using a generous amount of my moisturizer and I'm just gonna dot it all over my skin and massage it really well into my skin you should always remember that after using any active ingredient, be it uh, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C or you know be it any other active ingredient, you should always moisturize your skin very generously. Now after applying the moisturizer, again you want to wait for about 1 or 2 minutes for the moisturizer to seep into your skin and then you can move ahead with your sunscreen. Sunscreen is ideally the last step of your skincare and then begins the makeup part. So I'm using a pea size amount of the sunscreen. You want to make sure that if you're using vitamin C in your uh, skincare regime, be it your daytime skincare regime or your nighttime skincare regime, you should apply your sunscreen, especially during the daytime, whether you're stepping out or not. You need to make sure that you are applying sunscreen because vitamin C can make your skin a little sensitive to the sun. In fact, most of the um, you know active ingredients do make your skin a little photosensitive. So you have to have to ensure that you wear sunscreen, especially if you use active ingredients in your skincare regime. And even otherwise, because you don't want your skin to be damaged by the sun. You don't want, uh, you know, premature aging on your skin. You don't want your skin to get skin burns because of the sun. So you have to make sure that you apply sunscreen every single day during the daytime. So there you go, I'm done with my daytime skincare regime and to wrap up the entire regime, I use the face wash, then a face mist, followed by the vitamin C serum, face moisturizer and then my sunscreen. Now you can begin with your makeup application if you're going out or you can just skip that if you're staying back home. I was just about to do my skincare and crash on the bed when I finally realized that I have to film this. So I'm going to be doing my nighttime skincare regime now using vitamin C serum and I'm going to show you the correct order of applying products. So starting off with a face wash, you obviously want to clean your face first before you can begin with any skincare. So I'm using this vitamin C face wash first. You want to ensure that you thoroughly cleanse your skin and if you're wearing makeup then make sure that you follow a double cleansing method where you're using 
an oil based makeup remover or maybe a micellar water first and then going in with your face wash it's really important to have clean skin before you begin with your skincare so after washing your face the second step is to use a toner i'm using this coconut toner and i'm just going to spray it on a cotton pad and then rub the cotton pad all over my skin mainly focusing it on the areas where i have large open pores this is going to ensure that any kind of uh, leftover makeup or any kind of dirt or any any residue basically on my skin is removed completely and it's also going to help to minimize my pores and keep them clean Okay so it's time to use serums and actives and I'm going to go in with this wow vitamin C serum again. I'm again going to take just two pumps of the serum and just pat it on my skin. Now you want to wait for about 1 minute for the serum to completely seep into your skin and then you can begin with your uh, under eye cream application. So I'm just taking one pump of my under eye cream and I'm going to dot it under my eyes and then massage it really well. After you cross the age of 20 you need to start incorporating an under eye cream into your routine because let's face it we all have a lot of screen time whether you are a blogger or not whether uh, you film videos or not you still um, you know work on your laptop or you do a lot of time pass on your phones and uh, that's why the screen time kind of you know damages your eyes a lot and you need to incorporate an under eye cream to take care of your under eye region so that um you know the signs of aging don't really appear that fast on your skin so make sure that you start using an under eye cream once you cross the age of 20 the next step is to use a moisturizer on the skin so i'm just going to take like a little bit of the moisturizer and apply it all over my face and really massage it into my skin you can always take like a little more moisturizer than normal especially in your nighttime routine because um you need to keep your skin hydrated like throughout the night and the thicker moisturizer that you use it's just better for your skin and even if you're using a lightweight moisturizer like especially if you have oily skin or something uh make sure to use a little more than usual or you can just go in with your moisturizer twice like i am doing and the final step in my nighttime skincare routine is to apply a lip balm So that's all about my nighttime skincare regime and that is how easy it is to use vitamin C serum in your daytime and your nighttime skincare regime. I hope that now you guys are clear with the order of applying the products while using a vitamin C serum. And another thing that you want to keep in mind while using a vitamin C serum in your skincare regime, be it your daytime skincare regime or nighttime skincare regime, you want to make sure that you do not mix it with any other active ingredient. You cannot mix vitamin C with AHAs and BHAs like you know glycolic acid, sal salicylic acid. Um, niacinamide is also a no-no um, to be mixed with vitamin C. But some people uh, do do it, and it sort of works out for them. But I still wouldn't recommend you mix niacinamide with uh, vitamin C. Retinol and benzoyl peroxide are also not really compatible to be used with vitamin C. So make sure that you remember that. However, you can use hyaluronic acid along with vitamin C serum. They both uh, go really well together. So that's a combination that you can use. Also um this is a very good vitamin C uh, serum option by Wow. Uh it really works out for my skin. It does not break me out or anything like that. I have oily skin uh, and my skin is acne prone and this is an oil free serum and it just doesn't irritate my skin at all. It doesn't break me out or anything like that. So it's an amazing vitamin C serum option that you can try out. Um the street is for rupees 699 for 30 ml. However, if you use my code RIA then you can get some discount on Wow's website and also on Wow app. 
uh, apart from that you can also find um, wow products on amazon nika flipkart mintra and on a lot of other e-com websites and make sure that every single time that you purchase a wow product you scan the qr code at the back of the packaging to ensure that it's 100% authentic and original so i definitely recommend you give this wow 20% vitamin c serum a shot it's a very good vitamin c serum and it's enriched with witch hazel and hyaluronic acid and a lot of plant based ingredients and it gives my skin an amazing glow whenever i use it in my nighttime skincare regime i literally wake up with glowing skin in the morning so it's a good vitamin c serum that you can try out so yeah that was my video for today that is how easy it is to use use vitamin c serum in your daytime and nighttime skincare regime i hope this video was helpful enough for you all if it was then please hit the like button also subscribe to my channel if you're new here follow me on instagram and also let me know in the comments below which other active ingredients would you like to see a complete routine on uh, i would love to make more videos to help you guys out with the correct sequence of applying skincare products because people really get confused on the correct order of using products so i'm here to help you guys just let me know in the comments below and i would love to make more videos for you guys and yeah with that's a wrap for today i shall see you in my next video